Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video. Today I will show you the ARCH Line XP Live 2022 Panorama 360 Virtual Tour. You can save different cameras to show an interior or a complete building, moreover the clients will be able to explore the model we have created from their own browser. I will show you how you can create this virtual tour on Betty Doka's project. To do this we need to open the Panorama 360 tool. Click on the plus button below to set a camera. The program saves the current view. Click the plus button to add the first camera. I can save additional cameras by clicking on the plus button. Navigate to the kitchen and save the next one. Let this be the next viewpoint. I save it by clicking the plus button. If I want to make changes to a particular camera, I can do so by clicking on the Update Current Camera button. An important tool is Force View to Horizontal. Using this command, the program raises the camera and the viewpoint to the same height, so the walls will be vertical and parallel to each other. Let's see how it looks in practice. I click on the Force View to Horizontal. You can see that the walls are parallel to each other. I navigate a bit more and then update the camera, what the program saves immediately. I add three additional cameras, the foyer, the bathroom and the bedroom. I navigate to these in the same way and click the plus button to save them. I go to the next camera. I'm going to force this one to horizontal as well, and then I save it with the plus button. The next camera will be in the bathroom. I navigate to the bathroom, change the viewpoint a little bit. I'm going to save this one by clicking the plus button, but first I'm going to force it horizontal again. The last camera what I save is the bedroom. I change the viewpoint a little bit, force this one to horizontal as well, and save with the plus button. Now let's take a look at the list of cameras. You can switch between cameras by using the arrows, or by clicking on the camera you want to activate. Now I need to place gateway points between cameras. I define gateway points called link hotspots in the space. The client can switch with these between cameras, and walk around the interior. Let's see how it works. I go from camera 1 to camera 2. I link the cameras with this up arrow. I click on it and a list of views appears. Now our camera 1 is active and I need to specify which camera I want to go to. This should be the camera 2. At this point, the program will remind me that I need to click on a 3D surface to add a panorama portal. I set the link hotspot on the floor. It has been made. As soon as I click on it, I'm immediately taken to camera 2. A number will appear in the top left corner of the camera, indicating how many other cameras is connected to. If I want to go back to camera 1, but the link hotspot is not visible on the screen, first I have to click on the number. The camera list appears, where the program indicates the camera with green the first have already connected. Clicking on the eye icon the program shows the link hotspot. This way I can easily get back to camera 1. I go back to camera 2, and I want to navigate to camera 3, to the foyer. I go sideways, and I place link hotspot on the floor. I click on the arrow again, select camera 3, and place the link hotspot on the floor. I am now in the foyer. I want to connect the foyer to the bathroom, so I navigate sideways. I place the link hotspot on the floor here as well. Again, I select the arrow, enter camera 4 and place the link hotspot. I got into the bathroom. I go back to camera 2 and link it to camera 5, which is the bedroom. Again, I turn a little bit to the side and I put the link hotspot on the side of the cabinet. 
I select the arrow, choose camera 5 and place the link hotspot. I click on it to enter the bedroom. Now the camera 2 has 3 connections. I go back to camera 2. When I have created all the connections, I can start saving the virtual tour using the Generate Panorama 360 content button. The program takes images to create this virtual tour, so you can navigate the space properly. This may take a few minutes. As soon as it is ready, the virtual tour will open. I close it now and show you another way to open the completed file. Click on the last icon, open Panorama 360 folder. The folder where the virtual tour HTM file was created will open. Double click to open the virtual tour. This file will also be sent to the client, who can walk through the space in it. Let's look around and click on the link hotspots to walk through the interior. Let's look at the foyer. If I navigate to the left, I can go to the bathroom and look around. I go back to the foyer, from where I navigate to the right to the kitchen. From the kitchen I can see straight into the bedroom. Let's go back to the living room. This brings us to the end of today's video, I hope it was useful for you. Have a nice day. Bye.